Marge. That's not what you mean. I hardly know husband. Stop, Judy. She will listen to you when she's like this. Why don't we go somewhere where we can talk? This is the lowest. You're doing it right outside our door. I don't have to take this from you, Darlene. We were just talking. At least Judy understands me. <laughs> I'm packing. I'm moving out. <laughs> Mrs. Harper, I don't know how this happened. I'm... I do. You couldn't corner a single man on this trip, so you had to go after one on his honeymoon. Oh, some honeymoon. I know they married people on ships. Maybe they could give us a divorce. Fine with me. Mrs. Harper, may I say something? Sure. <laughs> oh, the Harpers are newly wet. Oh, well, well. Uh, listen, if there's anything you need, uh, directions to the pool. <laughs> Casino? Movie schedule? We need a cabin. Fast. Oh, what should you do? Follow me. I don't know why we come up on the deck. It is such a waste of honeymoon time. Sweetheart, even minks have to rest sometimes. <laughs> mm. What am I gonna do? Well, didn't you bring a book? Now, why would I bring a book? Mr. and Mrs. Harper. Mm. As long as you're out, why don't I show you around the ship? Well, thanks, but I don't think we're going to have time. <laughs> no, honey, why don't you go ahead? I don't want to move for at least a half hour. Okay, let's go. That's a great idea. Rest up. We've got a long, long night ahead of us. <laughs> Hi, honey. You rested? I took a full ship to tour with Judy. I'll give you enough time. Oh, you know they got a great gym on board. I lifted some weight. You are gonna love me all pumped up. Yes, yes, here. Happy anniversary. It's been seven days since we met. No, don't touch me. I was sunburned. Sunburned? Well, I got some lotion. Uh -huh. How about this, huh? Strawberry? Nah. Grape? Nah. Banana daiquiri? No rubbing, no touching, no nothing until the pain goes away. We'll just have to think of something else to do. Like what? Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, Honey, that coat looks, uh, good on you. Where'd you get it? Got it at the gift shop. I can't believe I had to buy extra clothes on this trip. I never expected to wear any. Uh, well, I think you look very nice in a tie. Well, it's not really me. I'm not a tie guy. I'm a t-shirt and shorts guy. For me, getting dressed up is putting on a pair of socks. <laughs> I've got them on. Don't worry about it. What are we eating? I ordered the Coquille Saint-Jacques, the brioche, escargot, bourguignon. Hey, I'm not into that fancy stuff. You'd give me a burger and fries anytime. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's great. Soup is cold. Hey, waiter. Uh, Brent, that's gazpacho. Oh, yeah, thanks. Hey, gazpacho. Warm this up for me, will you? <laughs> morning, beautiful. I didn't dance the night away. Hey, I'm sorry about that, honey. You know, when your son burns better, I'm gonna dance with you. I don't dance. What? What kind of person doesn't dance? Well, what kind of person doesn't know what gazpacho is? <laughs> oh, Mr. and Mrs. Harper, uh, can I sign you up to go to the bullfight this afternoon? It is a beautiful day for it. Hey, a bullfight? How about it, honey? I've always wanted to see one. Let's go to the bullfight. Good. Huh, sounds like fun. Sweaty crowds, violence, and bloodshed. What's wrong with that? Oh, well, I can see you two are well on your way to a compromise, so I'll just be running along. <laughs> so what are we going to do? Where's your son? Forget it. Oh, oh, 
I met Darlene. It was so perfect. Now, I don't know. It's different. Well, we just met her a week ago. Yeah, that's when she moved in across the hall. We met over a grease fire in her broiler. You're romantic. We couldn't stand being away from each other. I mean, physically. It was so right, you know, so complete. Mm. And you thought everything was going to be like that? Oh, exactamente. But then I realized that we have nothing in common except great sex. Oh, dear. Oh, it felt so light when we were dancing together. Mr. Harper, I think this is taking a wrong direction. I should have expected this. Mrs. Harper. Um, You've been after my husband ever since we boarded. Well, you can have him. I don't want him. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Harper, look, I'm not supposed to be here, but I just have to give this one more shot. There's a few things here we have to work out. First of all, nothing happened between me and Brent. He came to me to talk, and what I was going to say to him, well, what I was going to say to him is that for a marriage to work, two people have to accept their differences and even learn to enjoy them. So, why don't you take tonight and try to work things out? That's all I have to say. Night. What do you think? She's right. We don't know each other. We need to talk. Uh, ex excuse me, uh, one more thing. Don't tell the captain you saw me. So, where are you from? Judy, we couldn't leave the ship without thanking you. Yeah, Darling and I took your advice, we talked about our differences, and we really couldn't be happier. Oh, I am so relieved. <laughs> I guess the secret to the whole thing is getting to know each other better, right? Yeah, we talked for hours and hours, and we realized that outside of great sex, we can't stand each other. We don't like the same food, the same movies, politics, TV shows, clothes. I mean, it's like we're from different species. We realized that we never should have gotten married, so thank you. We're getting a divorce.